Now, I actually have two questions for you. So here is the first, and that is 7 is what percent of 25? Pretty basic uh, question. Feel free to use a calculator. And if you know how to figure this out, put your answer into the comment section. Now, my second question is, what is percent? And in your own words, define what percent is. Now, you might be saying, well, I don't really know what percent is. But you know what's kind of funny about this? Just think about this. How often do you see this symbol? Okay, this is the percent symbol. Well, you see this all day long. Uh, think about it. Let's say your cell phone is low on a charge. Then you go to uh, plug it in. You're like, oh, look at now it's at 22 percent. Um, you know, your battery and it's going up. Now you're walking through the store and you see a shirt that you want. It's 30 percent off. You know, you're watching TV and there's a credit card commercial. They talk about 19 percent. You're seeing the percent symbol all day long. So you certainly have a sense of what percent is. But what I want to do in this video is kind of uh, really make sure you have a strong mathematical understanding and a precise definition of what percent is. Okay, so if you can answer those questions, that would be great. And then, of course, I'm going to fully explain this. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and first answer the question, what is percent? Okay, so of course, this is the question uh, that we were, well, we're going to answer in just one second. Seven is what percent of 25? But uh, again, what is percent? Okay, well, percent, the technical definition of percent is a number being compared by 100. Okay, uh, comparing a number to 100, kind of uh, an easier way to describe that is a fraction where the denominator is 100. Okay, so for example, 7% is 7 over 100. Okay, I'm comparing the number 7 to 100, or I'm writing this as a fraction 7 over 100. Okay, so when you're comparing a number to 100, i.e., you're going to uh, create a fraction where here's your number and the denominator is 100, that's percent. So 7%, again, by definition, we can write as the fraction 7 over 100. So that's the cool thing about percent is that you can write a, uh, a number as a percentage or you can write it as a fraction and you can also write it as a decimal. Okay, You can have equivalencies between percent, per, a percentage, a fraction, and a decimal. Again, you're gonna, and you're going to have to know how to go between those. Okay, but that is uh, the basic definition of percent. Now, that's important because um, we can actually solve percent problems by uh, using the actual definition of percent. I'll show you a little bit about that in a second. But another very useful way to think about percent is a part out of a whole. Okay, So, for example, 7 would be the part okay, right here, and the whole would be um, 100, right? So let's actually, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, just make something up here for one second. Let me erase this. It just kind of uh, just come to me. I'm like, you know what? This might be helpful. Here's a little pizza, right? And here is like one uh, part, okay? So what percent of this little slice right here is out of this pizza? Now, this is a terrible pizza, but you can kind of get the drift, right? So hopefully you're saying, well, that would be what? Well, that's 25% of the pizza okay but you're saying well how many what's the parts and what's the whole well there's four okay uh the the total amount here is four okay then this is one part out of the whole okay one part out of the whole is one fourth now we have one fourth as a fraction but we want percentage so how do we go from one fourth to 25 percent well i'm going to talk about that in a second okay but anyways a good way to think about uh, percent is the model of a part out of a whole. Okay, you'll see that in a second. All right, now in our particular problem here, we're uh, being asked, or the question is, 7 is what percent of 25? So what is the part and what is the whole? Okay, so we're, we're asking again about, uh, it's, we're trying to define percent. What's the part and what's the whole? Well, 25 is the whole and 7 is the part, right? So we're trying to determine 
uh, the percent. Okay, percent again, you can think of as a part of the whole, but what we're going to be doing is uh, comparing 7 to 25. So 7 is how much out of 25, okay? Now, when I take 7 and divide it by 25, of course, you can do this in your calculator. You're going to get a decimal. Uh, so that you're, what we want is a percent, but all we're going to get is a decimal, okay? So we're going to have to go from a decimal to percent, all right? Okay, so I'm kind of, you know, taking a long explanation of percent because I really want, you know, really want you to have different ways of thinking about percent because you can have all different types of percent problems and there's different ways to solve uh, percent problems. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually solve the problem. So seven is what percent? Let's go back to the question again. Seven is what percent of 25? Well, hopefully you said, okay, well, seven divided by 25, uh, that's 0.28. You, uh, of course, we could do this in our calculator. So this is the decimal 0.28. It's not the percent, okay? So how do you go from a decimal to a percent? Well, what you need to do is multiply by 100, okay? Now, anytime you multiply a uh, number by 100, what ends up happening is, the decimal point, here's the decimal point, right? 0.28, scoots over two places to the right, okay? So seven divided by 25 is 0.28, and then of course I'm gonna multiply that by 100 to get my percent, okay? Which of course will be 28%. So anytime you multiply by 100, all you're doing is moving uh, the decimal place over two places to the right, okay? So to go from a decimal, or I'll just write this this way, decimal, to a percent, you just move the decimal point over two places to the right, which is the same thing as multiplying by 100. Okay, so that is the answer. Now let's go ahead and look at this problem in a couple different ways, okay? All right, so here is our question, all right? So what percent is uh, seven out of 25, okay? Well, we know by definition, percent is uh, a number being compared to 100, right? So just as I showed you earlier, 7%, I can uh, write, at, write that as the fraction 7 out of 100. So with that definition in mind, I can look at this fraction, 7 out of 25. I'm like, boy, I wish my denominator was 100 because if I knew if my denominator was uh, 100, my numerator would actually be the percent, right? So for example, uh, 7 is what percent of 100? Easy, it's 7% because my denominator is 100. But in this case, my denominator is not 100, but that's not a problem because I could take this 25 and turn it into 100. So how can I take a 25 and turn it into 100? Easy, just multiply by four. So 25 times four is 100. But if I multiply the denominator by four, I now got to multiply the numerator by four. So seven times four is what? 28, okay? So now I have a new fraction, 28, 28 over 100, which is the same thing as this fraction. If you had this fraction, I said, hey, reduce this fraction, you would reduce it down to here. But the cool thing about this fraction, the one that we have here, is that we have, we're comparing a number to 100. So the numerator here is the actual percent, okay? So seven uh, is what percent of 25? Well, let's uh, rewrite this fraction where the denominator is actually 100. And so we have 28 uh, over 100, okay? And the numerator is, in fact, the actual percent. Okay, so that's the second way. Now, we can actually do this using algebra, okay? So this is what we call a pr uh, proportion in algebra. It's pretty awesome, right? So again, this is dependent upon your um, understanding of what percent is. So percent is comparing a number to 100. So uh, what we're going to do is we're looking for this number, which would be our numerator, right? So again, this example, 7% is 7 over 100. So this is our numerator. In this case, we don't know what that percent is, right? 7 is what percent of 25? So we're going to figure out what this numerator is, and we're going to compare it to uh, 100. So x over 100, if we can get this number, that's the actual percentage. And we're going to equate that to this fraction, 7 over 25. This is the part out of the whole right here, part out of the whole, and then this would be the part out of the whole right here. Okay, so seven over 25 is equal to what over 100? Okay, so this is what we call a proportion in algebra, and this is a pretty cool technique to solve, uh, to solve percent problems. So 
Once you have a proportion, which is what we call, um, which is by definition two equal fractions, all we need to do is cross multiply just like this. So this would be 25 times x is what? 25x, right? Now, of course, you need to know some basic, basic algebra uh, to solve this problem, but hopefully this is no big deal. Now, 100 times 7 is what? Of course, that would be 700. All right, so how do you now solve uh, this basic equation, 25x is equal to 700? Easy. All we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 25. So 700 divided by 25 is 28. So x is 28. Now, what is x? Well, x was this numerator up here, right? So this is 28 over 100 is the same thing as 7 over 25. Now, a lot of you might be thinking to yourself, boy, this is a lot, Mr. U2 Math Man. You know, my brain is kind of smoking. Maybe you're kind of like, you know, like this. You're like this, like smoke coming out of your head and whatnot. You're like, listen, just show me one way to solve these percent problems, and then I'll just, that's good enough. Well, what I'm trying to do is to get you to fully comprehend uh, percent and not just memorize everything by what we call rote memorization, right? Just like, you know, okay, when I say percent problem, I'm going to do this. That's good, but you want to be better than good, right? You want to fully understand all these concepts because as you run into more interesting and challenging percent problems, and there are certainly more um, uh, involved percent problems that require a little bit more algebra, you know, you want to understand the concepts fully, all right? So that's the whole point behind my videos. Now, if you need um, help with percent, basic mathematics, pre-algebra, algebra, or whatnot, I'm going to leave the links to my, um, some of my more popular courses in the description of this video. Also, I have a ton of additional uh, videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out. So here's the deal, okay? If there's anything in math that you want to master and learn, it is percent, okay? It's so, so important. And hopefully this little video helped you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.